Welcome to Chatting the Pictures. My name is Kara Finnegan, and I'm a writer, teacher, and historian of photography. And I'm Michael Shaw. I'm a writer, a psychologist, and also publisher of Reading the Pictures. This image, focusing on LA's poorest and most racially and ethnically at-risk communities, was part of a New York Times Magazine cover story about Los Angeles and the coronavirus. As the crisis begins to lift, at least for those with means, the photo is as informative as it is heart-wrenching. This photograph was taken by Meredith Kohut for the New York Times. We see a COVID-19 patient in Los Angeles County asking, is this the end? A few hours later, doctors intubated the patient. Black and brown patients have consistently filled the beds of the four hospitals and 26 health centers operated by the county, including the COVID-19 ward at LA County USC Medical Center. The first thing that I think about when I see this image is, who is that question on the whiteboard for? It's certainly for the patient. The patient has the marker in hand, is asking the question. But maybe it's also for the healthcare worker, right? Is this the end? Are we nearing the end of the pandemic? And then, of course, us, the viewers, are also in many ways asking the same question. So to me, the message of this photograph is poignant, and it's also ambivalent. I think that the photo also punctuates the impact of the virus on people of color and the underserved. The writing is in Spanish, of course. It seems that the medical worker is a person of color also. And then when you just think about class and then how much authority you have as a person, as a citizen, as a patient, it makes us wonder how much this patient knows about the status of the treatment or even their basic situation. I also wanted to briefly endorse this story to our audience. There are some really powerful images. The virus has disproportionately affected people of color, people of lesser means, and this story really takes their plight head on. There's other images in the story that are quite powerful. There's one in particular of a man who's in a hospital bed, and he's wearing a t-shirt with this very large logo of the U.S. Postal Service, and knowing the critical role of the Postal Service in the last election, and just the steadfastness of frontline workers, it's really a powerful image. I'm really interested in the foreground of this image, the medical equipment in particular. So the breathing tube that the patient is connected to extends sort of out of the frame. There's a kind of visual illusion, if you will, where it appears as though the patient and the healthcare worker are literally connected in a kind of lifeline between them. In a context in the hospital where you're not having family visit you, you're not able to communicate except through these very rudimentary means, it points to the way that healthcare workers you know, have been literal lifelines for patients. 